Hi, my name is John Paul Aboard. I am the co-developer of QuickClick at apathysoftworks.com. Today I'm going to be giving you a brief tutorial on how to add items and an overview of the main menu. So to get started, let's go ahead and show the menu, and you can do this one of two ways, by using the default hotkey Windows key plus Z, or we can use the default mouse gesture by holding the right mouse button in and dragging down. And the menu items are set up as such. We have all of our top items, which will be our shortcut items, menus, and separators that we create. Uh, our three extra setting uh, menus, which I will go into further detail about in future tutorials. We have a suspend all item, which will actually suspend all hotkeys and mouse gestures within the quick click application. This is helpful for when gaming or when using an application that has a lot of hotkeys that may conflict with some quick click hotkeys like uh, Photoshop. And then we have our add change item which will actually bring up the main window of quick click where you can set up your menu, uh, get to some settings, a, and get some help and check for updates. So as we can see here our menu is set up in this tree view. Uh, we can, when you first run quick click you're, started off, uh, you're starting off with a blank menu and a blank empty item. And we can rename items by right-clicking and go to Rename. Or we can simply press F2. Now, with each item, you can set up uh, four predefined types. You can open a file, a folder, an email template, which will actually run in your default mailing application, whether that be Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird or whatever you use and a URL which will run in your default browser. So let's go ahead and select a file. We'll grab the quick click license. And as you can see, uh, it goes ahead and fills in our path for us. And we can also run custom commands. So actually when we run this item, it will actually run the IP config for us. Now we can change some default attributes of items. We can add a, an icon for this item or make it bold. We can also create a new menu. And for this menu, we can also uh, set some different attributes. Uh, icon, bold, just like items. We can also set an items color and a menu color. Now if you wish to change the main menu window color and item color, you can go to settings. And it's right here under the main menu tab. You can change the background color and the text color here. Any hotkeys or mouse gestures that you do wish to change will be in the gestures hotkeys tab. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for using QuickClick.